right, so before we get into game two of the campaign, I'm just letting... I got a bunch of questions about how uh, how the, the game turns go. So with our multiplayer, multi-person games, we... Each phase, we just roll a dice, and then whoever rolls the highest dice starts, and then we just go clockwise around the table. And the way we do it is that everybody flares their charges one at a time around the table, and then we move our charges, and then the um, the, the remaining move phase happens then again, going around the table, each person doing the rest of their movement. The magic phase, everybody rolls one dice, that is the dice pool, and then we equally split up the dice from what's in that pool so that everybody has the same amount of dice. And you can use your power dice to dispel or cast. And again, we start off rolling a dice, see who starts the magic phase. And then um, anybody's free game to cast things on and or to dispel against. So it can get some pretty big uh, magic team-ups there. And shooting, same thing. Roll dice, shoot around the table. And then combat you roll the dice to then choose where, which combat you want to resolve first and um, the reason why this is important is that whoever we didn't want multiple com like on one turn one that your one unit would get into like three combats by going like hey it's Mark's turn and then he fights me and then it goes back to my turn to nominate a fight and then they fight back each, at each other so that they've already fought twice. And then, say, if, like, my brother overran and is coming into the flank of Mark's unit, now we all fight again. So it's like every fight just happens once kind of thing. And that's essentially the turn sequence. And then we go on to turn two, do the exact same thing again. And, um, yeah, I hope that answered a bunch of questions. And I will put on game two right now. Alright, so we're just about to start the second game of the campaign. We had to split it up into two tables. So this one is um, all of our armies after getting our generals off of the table in the last game after the troll thing. We ended up randomly showing up into a forest that uh, we had to be 16 inches away from the middle. And the rest of our army, we got to put our, our hero into one unit and then... The rest of our army kind of shows up afterwards. So, uh, I'm playing on this table it's against uh, my brother, which is always fun to play against. We got uh, Sankey with his High Elves. Um, and then I'm playing against Markham Burgle with his Empire. So, there's going to be a lot of uh, cool one man action over here. And then I got over here. So, my Necromancer is in with the Cryptors because I want to at least have some sort of survivability. So, and then ev all, everything else ends up coming in on the uh, table edges as a uh, random deployment. So, we are off. We're gonna find out who goes first, and I'll shoot, get back to you after turn one. So we just finished um, turn one. Uh, the only charges were um, Sankey decided to be a dick and charges uh, Silver Helms as the flank of some Empire dudes. I thought we were having fun. <laughs> and uh, that was it. So in the in the magic, Sankey then cast um, his uh, what was it? Soul quench. Soul quench on his detachment, killing two dudes. Where West tried to dispel it, and he it didn't dispel. <laughs> and then uh, those guys got a final board in hand-to-hand, -hand, which didn't really help them much. Um, Silverhelms ended up killing some guys, and I cast Invocation over here, but no one cared. Because no one cares. So we're off to turn two, where our, um, our reinforcements can start coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished turn two. Um, my charges were uh, I tried to charge in onto his detachment that was right there. I mean his main unit. His detachment charged in at the silver helms over there, and my brother charges goblins into the silver helms into the flank. And then in doing so, he brought himself within eight inches and launched two fanatics at my stupid ass crypt horrors like a jackass, doing one wound. In the magic fit, well, I shouldn't say anything because Sankey got a brunt of two armies <laughs> taking on the front and, and no, flank. 
So Sankey had his movement turn first, so he brought his um, his uh, high elves on, and then Mark, none of his guys came on. On my turn, none of my reinforcements came on, and then my brother had his turn, and all of his chariots ended up showing up right behind the high elves there. So <laughs> there's a bunch of chariots following in the... Uh, what's, what's it over here? Uh, so yeah, okay. So in the combat phase, um, Sankey's uh, um, silver helm ended up losing by two. He rolled a nine and he broke. So oh, he rolled a seven. So he needed to roll a six to to, to stay. And he rolled a seven. They broke. And the Helvedeers ran them down because these two units are fighting each other. So that was essentially turn two, and we're off to turn three. So we just finished turn three. Um, I failed my charge. I'm trying to get into combat. I'm legit trying to get into combat, but I can't make it. Um, some goblins beat down the, that uh, detachment. Those guys reformed to look at some skeletons. And so, <laughs> some chains <laughs> killed the rest of the high elves. <laughs> As you know, those two uh, goblin units bickered amongst themselves. In magic, nothing really happens. I healed back some ghouls. Um, so I'm, that guy's got one wound left. He's taking one wound. And um, my skeletons and zombies showed up. Show up, like coming this way. Mark's demigriffs aren't on the table yet, and all of Wes's units are on the table, so the demigriffs can maybe swing the fight wherever they come in on. Uh, the combat, the goblins ended up beating the, his detachment, but did not overrun into the rear of his halberdiers. And Wait, we're off to turn four. So we just turn, finished turn four. Um, charges were yeah. halberdiers came in on my skeletons. The crypt horrors came in on the, the goblins. I needed an eight to run them down and ran roll the three. Uh, goblins ran down on a box cars, ran down the attachment unit. And my goblin, my zombies. Yeah, sorry, zombies ran down the attachment. And these zombies came on the, the table. Um, his chicken legs came on the table. And that really, these guys came to the forest shooting at my uh, cryptors doing nothing. And that's essentially it. In combat, I ended up losing by six. And magic, nothing really happened. So we are off to turn five. So we just finished turn five. Um, some uh, demigriffs came into the flank of my necromancer unit. Oh, uh, my necromancer in the unit of crypt whores, which was awesome. But I charged his uh, spearman no, and uh, his war boss off the table, and his halberdiers beat the crap out of my skeletons. There's three left. My zombies made the charge in on his um, chariot, and his wolf riders made his charge into my zombies, which I won that combat. Because no one hurt anybody, and I just won by three ranks in a stick and a charge. That's, that's like back to back charges on boxcars. <laughs> Are you guys all gonna be at Jordan's? And um, that all happened badly. I, after crumbling and everything, I only have uh, the six wounds left in that Cryptor unit. Did two wounds to one chariot, and um, his one demigift took a wound coming in, and one wound. Uh, from my crypt horror. So I still have this unit of zombies walking onto the table, which are doing awesome, and we're up to turn six. They're still gonna be. All right, so we just finished turn six. Um, in that combat, I I should fucking hit that other chariot, but I, I ended up losing just enough to lose my last crypt horror. Um, but then which caused Wes's chariots to beat combat against those demi griffins, and so he almost caught them. And my zombies, both my zombie units are still on the table, and I issued a challenge, and his warrior priest punched the fuck out of my skeleton unit champion. Yeah. So, that's yeah, turn awesome six. Um, we, none of us, <laughs> Mark is the only one with a unit champ, with a, a hero Character, left yeah. on the board, which is a surprise since last turn he had nothing on the board. And I still got charged turn one this day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, our scenario two. So, uh, thanks for watching. Whatever.